ingredients of public nuisance the act must cause the common injury danger or the annoyance to the public means the act must cause a common injury danger annoyance to the public means at a large of people must be affected by that act such an act can be considered as a public nuisance the interference must be unreasonable and unlawful means without reason this interference must be done and it must be in the unlawful nature examples of the public nuisance can be obstructing a public road polluting air water soil or operating a house of prostitution or keeping explosives explain the term obscene under ipc so it is given in section 294 294 to be considered a crime the obscenity must cause the annoyance to others means any act which can be considered as a obscene that first cause the annoyance to the other obscene means filthy dirty or disgusting words photos or material obscene that is given in section 294 of ipc next is how can a man can commit a theft on his own property so when an owner dishonestly moves any property out of the possession of any person without the consent of the possessor he is treated similarly as any other person would be treated under the law means here the owner of that land has dishonestly moved any property out of the possession of any person means the possession of that thing is of another person and without taking his permission the owner of the land has moved out of the possession of the any person without the consent of the possessor then he is treated similarly as any other person would be treated under the law therefore an owner can be held liable for a theft on his own property a person can commit a theft on his own property too and that is given in section 378 of ipc theft 378 of ipc